Rachel Holford and Fuel alongside Pat McAsee. And Pat, Americans, they just don't really like cars anymore. Yeah. Uh, companies are selling a lot more mid-size SUVs than mid-size sedans, but there are two exceptions to this, the Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry. And I want to know, why are they exceptions? Well, if you look at it, it seems like fuel economy is definitely one of the reasons, because even though these are mid-size and they're relatively bigger cars, they both get above 30, which is really good. And they're only, they start out at 24,000, which is pretty affordable especially when you consider that they both come with like full hardware suites for advanced safety features. So you get uh, emergency braking and lane departure uh, avoidance, things like that. So it's really, really good value for money. BMD BMW recently revealed another SUV model. So is there anything that really makes the X2 unique or is it kind of just the same thing as the X1? Uh, I'm going to admit that I was a little skeptical at first, but it seems to, to actually be a really nice car. Uh, I was hesitant because BMW's model numbers are even for the weird coupe ones that have the slanted roof <laughs> back, and those are usually hideous, but this doesn't actually have that. It kind of looks more like a hatchback, only a bit beefier, and it's kind of what the X1 and the X3 probably should have been because they come with all-wheel drive, sta or this comes with all-wheel drive standard, and those get front wheel drive. So it's really not just like a scaled up or scaled down version. It's a whole new car and it has a really sleek exterior. So I think it's definitely better. Pat Maxi approved. All right. For more car reviews, head over to nessenfuel.com.